А ну, чеки брики в дамке! Окей, external audio should be working. <clears throat> All right, so if I have this right, I am now waiting 24 hours for him. Uh, I already forgot his fucking name, honestly. Uh, Klinov to be done to to have the time. I need. I basically Klinov basically went. Yeah, fuck you. I don't have the time any. I don't have the time now that you brought me everything I need. I'm doing other shit. So I need to wait 24 hours for him. And for all I know, I probably still need to wait 20, uh, another 24 or so hours for Prime to finish decoding shit so I can finish the island's plot line. So, I figure we can finish some bullshit up. There are some, uh, there's some sorting I could do, there are a few stashes to find. Like actual caches and whatnot. And there's some chain tasks. I decided, fuck it, let's do all the chain tasks, uh, but do them in a certain orderly fashion. For example, uh, there's a chain task where you give this up. I'm not doing that until, like, very, very into the fucking game. But we got some shit to work through here. Uh, got my bad. Alright, fuck it. Uh, let's see. I ideally I want to do an inventory uh, maintaining or something I guess I don't know I don't know like inventory cleaning I got mutant parts I guess that's oh yeah fuck it Teleport to the bar. Whoops. I'm glad that didn't break. Yeah, I'm... I I'm living... God, I'm living terribly right now. Fucking Cayman Jack bottles and mojito cans just everywhere. No drinking this time, though. I have water. I have a, my, my thermos of water. I mean, I do have one thing here. I have a, I have a can of, uh, I have death in a can. I have monster energy drink in case I need it. Uh, woke up at like 5 a.m. because I had some shit to do. Uh, literally woke up at 5 a.m. because I had some shit to do. But but the original plan was let's uh the original plan was i wanted to do this at, like my usual 3 4 a.m bullshit i was like no i have to sleep i'll just take like a quick uh, like at midnight i was like no i have to sleep i'll just take a quick hour long nap wake up at 5 a.m oh fuck i need to get up Ah, oh, Jesus. Whoops. So, it's been a bit, so I actually had to go over, I have a full-ass text document, English translated, of all of two po OP 2.1 cyclics. I, this is basically me returning to this. This is me returning to this, and I want to get it done, and part of the reason, like, I want to get this going, and part of the reason is explicitly because of shit I found out recently. Um, and, I, and I know tangents, ramblings, and all that, sorry, but if you are watching this, I, you, you, if you're watching this, you have bigger things to worry about than why is this guy going off on a tangent, okay? I, I'm, I show this shit off because I love it. I don't show it off because I think people need to see it. Um, but let me think. 
So, at this point in time, there are three versions of Stalker OP2. There's 2.09, there's 2.1, there's 2.2. There's probably never going to be a 2.3. And that fucking sucks. Uh, 2.09, I would not recommend. I played it like 99% of the way through. I think the only thing I didn't do is I didn't do the Volazer plotline. I didn't do the search for Elsa, for Elsa, and I didn't do the very final bit of the game itself. Hello, brother. Uh, video recorders slash chess plot. Video recorders are like a post. I think I did video recorders, and that leads to the chess plot, or it's adjacent. I forget. So I don't remember if I did that one or not. But that's like that's after the sniper plot line, like immediate, like the, either at the tail end or immediately after. And the chess plot I actually did start and do a bit of in 2.09, but I could not finish it. Um, I'll explain that in a bit. 2.1 is what I'm currently on now, and as you can see, I'm already pretty fucking late game. Even though there's still a lot of shit to do. And I fully intend to do everything I can... And I've decided this includes the chain tasks. Now, the big difference between 2.1 and 2.09 is the introduction of chain tasks. And the overhauling of cyclics. That's probably the biggest difference. Uh... Okay, just trying to make absolutely sure of how the recording's going. Um, anyway. Um... The, big, the biggest difference was the chain tasks and the include and the overhauling of segments. And... Uh, wrong one. And in particular, the introduction of chain tasks. Um, in 2.09, I, I probably already described this previously, but basically in 2.09, there was this one plot where uh, you had to collect microchips. And this led you to the monolith's secret weapon. It's the Soul Cube from Doom 3. It's absolute fucking garbage. It doesn't matter. In 2.09, this was honestly a pretty shit plotline. Because it relied entirely on doing the order jobs. Which, the order jobs were basically... This shit. Shit like this. Bulk orders, massive fucking orders by people, and you had to bring everything all at once. And... Uh, 762 by 54. Uh, 9 by 19. Parabellum. No. No. Ye Wait a minute. AK 919K Chestnut. Okay, AK 972. Okay. I almost thought they were the same. Uh. I don't think I need this anymore, so we're gonna. Oops. We're gonna unload that. We're gonna detach the catalyst cylinder. Do that. Collector's flamethrower. Uh, oh. 
uh, flammable mix, and catalyst cylinder. Wow. Wow. That catalyst cylinder has, it, it, it burns through, no pun intended, it burns through fucking, it's, it's, a condition like, whoa, when you use it. Alright, Gauss. Uh, that would be the heavy weapons. So five point uh -huh. five fifty six by forty five and five forty five by thirty nine. And I think I put 762 by 39 here. Yes. And then put the shotgun here, which... Now I have two of those, I guess. Yeah, we good. So in 2.09, this was boring as shit, and it was really just a lot of work and autism checklist stuff. Because you do the order jobs, you get the chips, you put it together, and then wham bam, it's in a backpack and zap. Nothing big. 2.1 is, is the introduction of chain tasks. And it wouldn't be until 2.2 .2 where they properly integrate this into the microchips, hamsters, monolith weapon plotline bullshit. So in 2.1, you still have the order jobs. And I did do them. I have no idea why there's a death claw horn here, but okay. Oh. Hold on a sec. Oh, I set this up for some of the chain tasks that I haven't done yet. Okay. I guess. Yeah, because some of this is still for, like, vendor trash. That I've just never gotten rid of. Anyway, um. And there's an actual plot line now to. Uh. I'm gonna teleport to the bar real quick. And there's an actual plot line, um, or not plot line, sorry, an actual, like, plot where you go to get the, the soul cube, where you actually have to go through some bullshit to get it, rather than, oh, it's just in a backpack, and on a, in a backpack and zap. Um, so I am interested in checking that out. At the very least. Uh, in 2.2, .2, they completely removed the, the order jobs, which honestly I kind of like, and delegated that shit to chain tasks. And I actually recently, out of curiosity, did a thorough check-in of, uh, cause on, on the wiki that now exists, thanks to some peop fine people in the community, I think Rage... Uh, Rage Quit specifically made the wick, uh, helped make the wiki. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Things over here. 
person. And... Как дела, охотничьи? I, I don't like the stealth, uh, the stealth bullshit. The two point, two point, in two point two, there's some stuff that I think makes that easier uh, that I read up on. All right, he wants the Zypho sword. Okay, so I got all the way to the Zypho sword. Okay. Uh, okay. There is another one here, and it's re and it, it's actually related. Um, so anyway, I, I would not recommend 2.09 because it's there's a bunch of other reasons why, but in particular, ooh. Colt 45. Uh, in particular, there's the fact that it runs on, like, the OG Shadow Chernobyl engine, and I think in 2.1 and onwards, they made their own modified engine for it. Uh, let's see. Wait, hold on a fucking second. Get a radio jammer, sleeping bags. Oh, the Vulner. I I don't know why, but I thought that was Ventura. Yeah. Look, damn fanatics! They managed to make a lightweight Gauss with the automatic track acquisition. I originally need a sample of this weapon. Maybe I can make such ones. Don't t don't take that one yet. Okay. Um. Заходи попозже. Может разживусь чем тому время. So. And so 2.09 is highly unstable, and in particular, the backpack system is fucking garbage uh, for making your own stashes compared to 2.1 and onwards. So 2.09, I would not recommend. Uh, 2.1, the chain task bullshit is actually really fun to do. The overall cyclics are also really nice. I really had a fun time with this. 2.2, they phase out the order jobs completely, which again, I'm completely fine with. And okay, I think we're gonna. Can I go to Dark Valley? No, just Darkscape. That's fine. We're gonna go to Dark Valley real quick. Uh, two point two. Um, they face the orange out completely, which I am completely okay with. Uh, and now you get the microchips from Chain Tasks, and that's fine. Um, I poured over the Chain Tasks on the wiki that Rage Quit made, helped make, and, uh, for 2.2, and you actually don't give a lot of things up permanently. In fact, there, there were some, uh, modifications that I kind of liked, and some that I didn't. Uh, for example, in... 2.1's chain tasks, specifically with Petrinko, I think, for Gauss weapons. He wants Crudface's Gauss gun, which is from the Black Doctor Exo plotline, Ghost's Gauss gun, and you can get one of and you can get one of these. I think you can get like uh, a spare Ghost Gauss from a chain ta another chain task, and one from. Uh, and you can get an, a spare a spare crud faces Gauss gun from uh, a cyclic. In two point two, you would be giving up crud faces uh, permanently, and it's a schematic weapon. Now in two point two, where you modify it, the main things you give up uh, permanently in two point two's chain tasks are schematic weapons and. Actually, what I could have probably done the army, the army warehouse, a shortcut. Ah, uh, who gives a shit? I'm already almost there. 
Um, blah 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 blah. There's a bunch. There's a bunch of shit, right? But and I'm sorry about this ranting, but now I'm kind. The original plan was. Okay, exactly. Uh, the original plan that I had in mind. was to finish this up like the 2.1 2. in its entirety and then take a break and do something less masochistic like old good stock revolution which actually seems to have a plot and its own unique bullshit and all this kind of stuff and then hop into 2.2 2 later down the line I'm still going to do something along those lines. It's just I'm going to try to stop fucking around and pussyfooting around on this. I'm still going to do other shit, obviously. You know, like, go through certain weird games and record record that. That interests me. Stu like, you know, for example, Hypnospace Outlaw, which I'm on right now, and then Slayer's X, blah, blah, blah. But... Now I kind of want to expedite the process. That's the word I'm looking for. Expedite the process. A little bit. And there's a bit of a reason for this. And... Where does this go? Oh, unexplored. And there's a bit of a reason for this. And said reason is... Uh, the team no longer exists. And I fucking hate that. Um, I want to continue, for, for real quick, I want to continue, though, uh, discussing a few things. The biggest, um, actually, I was wrong earlier, hold on a sec, though. Alright, uh, Fiend has nothing. Molt. Okay, his is not a chain tax. I did Fox, I think. Uh, I did Messer. I thought Fiend had something for him. Damn. Oh, I think this is the chain task right here. Uh, Scorpion VZ-82 chambered for 9 by 19 Alright, hold on a sec. Okay, yep, this is the guy in the, t in the, in the document. Okay, and I am several steps behind, so... I don't know, should I... grab up artifacts, I guess, for now? Let's see, what do we got? We got a thorn, a quirk, a jellyfish, stone blood. I don't know why, I don't think I can get to that one. Sparkler, vortex, T 
Tears of Electra, Vortex, Black Energy, Droplets. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's just an achievement award. That's a stash. Eh, might as well, right? Just fuck around a bit. I mean, the whole point of... Right now, the whole point is I'm fucking around for a bit. And trying to just get some stuff out of the way. Yeah, my nose. Um... I think they're just killing zombies. I mean, why not grab up artifacts while I'm here, right? I have the ultra detector, might as well use it. I don't know, can I get that Tears of Electra? It's up here is the problem. <sighs> and I'm stuck. Yeah, I don't like dealing with that. You know what? Fuck you. Um. Between so between two point one, two point oh nine, and two point one, they made some changes, and I think there's an anomaly here that I really need to avoid in this map. And, like, if I touch it, it'll cause massive screaming and destroy my armor and put me into a bleeding state. Um... I really need armor repair kits, because I'm losing armor health now because of collecting all these artifacts. So, between 2.09 and 2.1, they overhauled the chain tasks, uh, they introduced chain tasks and overhauled the cyclics. And... They changed how some other stuff worked. And ultimately, the, bi the main big additions were... Overhauling the end of the monolith weapon plot and introducing the construction site and ironworks and, and integrating that into the Naradnaya Solyanka plot and other side stuff, such as the construction site being how you, how you, uh, where you go to get a job to get the portable battery charger. Um, as well as introducing 
the Interpol in the zone plotline. And maps for that, a new lab, um, Chernobyl 1, um, and the inclusion of a ton of maps that they never, that they did not establish anything for yet, um, that the idea was that you would, if you did all of kills jobs for, uh, Product number 58, the experimental gas pistol thing. Uh, the, one of your ultimate rewards as just a little bit of a, a... A little bit of a... Sure, why not? Was the teleports to all of them. Uh, maps. Just so you could explore them for funsies. And so they include a bunch of stuff. And Oh fuck. Where are you? There we go, Tears of Electra. Hell yeah. And I might as well see what's in that stash. Um... And then, in between 2.1 and 2.2, they added one particular thing. Um, a quest line that you could access from Zat. Uh, that leads you to the Valley of Whispers. And it's actually a thing. There is mention... Uh, there is some kind of mention, I think, of the Valley of Whispers, even in 2.1. And I was pretty hyped for the idea of more stuff, like even more stuff uh, added. Shit. I was pretty hyped for the idea of even more stuff added. Ex you know, because in 2.1 alone, um, in 2.1 alone, there's like a bunch of shit. That, that gets added. Like, one of my favorite things is, uh... In return for something else... Um, in return for, I guess, a favor in, a, in one of the jobs that you have in this... Uh... Where'd that venom go? Yeah, I think this is good. I think I can go back to... 
the garbage. Um, for example, though, in an earlier job, a key, uh, where you get help from a keen, uh, who's a, a, a merchant in court, <clears throat> Akeem wants you to get him, I'm not kidding, a Rubik's Cube from a stash. This seems silly at first, but the big, but when you go get it, it's silly in 2.1. In 2.09, I think it's just kind of there. And they were still working on this idea. When you go get it, an entire fucking military Black Ops team, including APCs and everything, shows up demanding the cube. And... Uh, Borov, the leader of the bandits in Dark Valley, has no idea what's going on. When you find the stash, it does not contain the cube, but it does contain the game's only instance of a PTRD. A really old, heavy, like, anti-armor rifle from, like, World War I or Two or some shit, right? I'm not actually a gun, a gun nut, I don't know a lot about this stuff, but anyway. Um, and you leave off on this, uh, the, the big reveal is that the cube is important because etched onto the cube was a mast, an unchangeable master code for one of the X labs that the military was working at. And a scientist uh, refuses to continue the working on the projects they're forcing him to work on, so they execute him. But he etched the master code that allowed some, that would allow anybody to get into the lab, into the cube, and threw it in a river. The guy who had the cube uh, basically reveals, "LOL, I." Uh, I, 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 you got trolled. I did not bring the cube with me. I mean, I did not leave the cube in the stash. I kept it with me. And is this where I've been putting it? No, where the fuck have I been putting the mutant parts? Oh, here. Okay. Alright, let's see. We got... that. Uh, we got generic artifacts, but that's honestly getting pretty full. Let's just use this for more generic artifact bullshit, because why not? Alright, we got two gravy, a jellyfish, a slime, a sparkler, a stone blood, a stone flower, a tears of electra, a quirk, a thorn, a crystal thorn, a droplets. Eh, not a bad haul. All right, let's check the. Uh... Yeah, this one's good. Let's see. Put the brown bandit trench coat there. Put the M four A one there. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this. These are the most interesting. While I was at the clear sky base, I gathered some information on artifacts I, I ordered. Heard all sorts of stories about the invisibility artifact. However, all these stories have one thing in common. The assumption that the artifact is generated by an anomaly that causes water to move against its current or in a circle. I only know of two such places, in the swamps and Zat. I'll have to check them out later. Over the general network, one stalker mentioned he saw such an artifact in Pripyat, too. My goal is clear. 
Shit, I managed to run into bandits in the middle of the swamps. Can't clear sky or other stalkers, stalkers clear the area of these idiots already. Luckily, I managed to get away through the thicket by by fog, and through the thick fog rolling in the air. However, the eastern path is blocked now, so I've got to make my way through the, the northern trail. Fucking hell, this isn't my day. I got away from the bandits only to run straight into the military patrol. What the hell are they doing around the secret trail from Agrippa? These freaks, these freaks spent over six hours questioning me and rummaging through my PDA. I had to tell them everything I know about the invisibility artifact. They seem to be very interested in it. Their search will most likely start at the, clear, at the base of Clear Sky. It seems war is coming to these swamps, and it just might be the end for Clear Sky. So this is why the military were in the swamps, I believe, during the entire... Th uh, during this big fucking job to repel the military. That ends in you getting the... Uh, either the Gagarin or the Experimental Sunrise uh, armor suits. I came across a wounded model soldier that duty didn't have a chance to finish off before an emission hit. In his delirium, he mumbled something about a monolith hiding place, a great secret protected by 13 guards. I found, I found more information about it in his PDA. It seems the cache contains a secret weapon. Wow, what a find. Also, there's information about a part to this weapon, a repeater, that is sec secure, securely protected. So there must be 13 guards looking at this repeater and something very unique in this referenced cache. And this reference cache. And still, it's not all. Something is hidden in the monolith base in Pripyat. I've got to find out what it is. Okay, I don't know what that is. That's interesting. Uh, maybe I've already found it, though. I took refuge from the emission in one of the apartments. Here I met the marked one, who came to me asking all sorts of questions. Looking for drawings and schematics produced by a gunsmith. Is he out of his mind? However, I did find a note in the apartment, and agreed to give it to him if he killed the bastard that tortured me. I still dream of his face. I think I'll be able to use the guy, th this guy to get into the heart of the sarcophagus, and find the monolith cache, if he's as tough as they say at least. It seems I was wrong, and the wish grant turned out to be an artifact capable of absorbing anomalies. Is, the secret weapon of the, is this the secret weapon of the monolith? How could this be part of it? And if so, what did they have stored away in the monolith base? Or is there something marked one isn't telling me? He gave me an unexpected gift. He wiped out the entire fanatic base. I don't know what he was looking for, but it's clearly not the repeater. The device doesn't look like part of any weapon I've ever seen. And why are these idiots hiding it in their base, and the artifact in the sarcophagus? I should hide it well, before the monolith get winded. I hope I can find the weapon itself. It seems the fanatics are on to me. I have to leave Central Pripyat and head to the eastern part of the city. I'll stash it in Lab X8. The PDA is in a toilet. About a secret hiding place that nobody knows about. And the repeater in the brain scorcher. I wonder the proverb says he wants to hide something, hide it in plain sight. Wait, is there something I... Is, is there a... Wait a minute. Is there a toilet with a PDA in it? I don't fucking know. Alright, um, back to what I was saying. So, between 2.09 and 2.1, uh, they added a bunch of other shit, but they also added Interpol in the zone, which is a guy from Interpol is in the zone trying to track a vicious serial killer, and you have to help. It leads to some other stuff. Oh yeah, and uh, Kershatov 37 in the Scientific Research Station is another bit where you have to help the, the new faction called the Furies and then help some scientists it also leads to the modified graph suit and some other cool shit but anyway uh... oh, I forgot about this damn scorpion Evo 3? Hmm. I'm just looking for some stuff.
Okay, hold on. Uh, look through, look through my crap, I guess. Anyway, and in two point between two point one and two point two, the only thing they really added was this Valley Whispers bullshit. They clearly were going to add more. But, um, the war in Russia between Ukraine and all that bullshit, apparently. Yeah, it didn't do, uh, didn't do him any favors. Um, basically because of the war in U between Ukraine and Russia and whatnot, or war in Russia, or whatever the fuck it is. I don't really keep up with this stuff. Um, I found this out from the guys in Seacon. Apparently, the original dev team is just completely dissolved now. So, any of the major work going on in two, in OP2 uh, is done. It's it's just done. The One of the shitty things about this is... One of the really shitty things about this is, uh... Alright, 19... 40... 9 by 19, 9 by 19, 19... 9 by 18! And, um, go ahead and put the PDW here, because I no longer really care that much about keeping it. Oh, wait. Alrighty, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. So I need that. I need an IMI Uzi. Which I got plenty of those. I need a PP19 Bison 2 01. I don't know if that's unique or not. Oh no, I have two of them. Alright. Now I need an Ingram Mac 10. Oh. 
Which again, I have a bunch of those. An FMP90. A Scorpion Evo 3. And the P90 is over here. Um, I've been told by somebody in Seacon, I think, I forget who, that the P90 is actually the best 5.7 by 28 millimeter uh, gun because if you use the, if you use a scope with it, uh, if you use its uh, scope add-on, it literally becomes like a fucking laser gun in terms of accuracy or something especially with its high fire rate actually it says right there rate of fire 900 versus yeah so I think I don't think I mind getting rid of the KSC PDW Evo 3, Mac 10, P90. UMP 40 and PP 2000. Alright. I only have one of these, but honestly, it looks like a jank ass fucking gun. I don't really. Thing I care that much. Eh, fuck it. Let's take screenshots at least. Alright, that's the... yep, and then the KSC PDW. I'll know what this means. Anyway, so yeah, 2.2 is now definitively probably the final uh, version that we're gonna get of OP2, which really fucking sucks. Wait, do I have everything? Ah, uh, fuck, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Did I take the... Oh, I'm glad I double-checked. Alright, you know what, yeah, let's just go over this real quick. Okay, Scorpion VZ-82, chambered. Oh, fuck. I think... You can stand out in a mission while wearing this armor. No, that's the Don Quixote XO. That's the Don Quixote XO I'm thinking of. Get to fucking cover.
So anyway, I'm just expecting it to just, it, it'll happen any moment. One guy that just never fucking leaves post. Um, which really sucks because they had a lot of ideas that I can tell they still wanted to try out. Um, there's a whole little side thing in Ironworks, uh, for example. Uh, they're just like this whole bit of side lore in Ironworks, for example, where there's a there one of the X labs is beneath Ironworks, and the mercenaries there were basically using it as their base, looking for something inside, I think. But you never get that far because they didn't actually implement it. In fact, it's not even I'm not even sure it's one of the maps that they implemented in the game. Uh, but then use the story in 2.1. Who knows? There's double the bullshit with Next Lab, with the Rubik's Cube. They clearly wanted to do more with the X Labs. They clearly wanted to do more with the X Labs. They introduced a new X Lab uh, beneath Kirchhoff 37 next to the Scientific Research Station. They introduced a new X Lab that's, gonna, that's used in Interpol in the Zone, which I haven't gotten to yet. They clearly want to do more X Lab stuff, where you uncover military secrets, because that's a big thing in OP2. That it is a big thing. The entire bullshit of um, the item, the product number fifty-eight plotline with a kill that that you start in Eastern Pripyat. Actually, no, I think you start it way before that. Like, there's hints of, of it way before that. Like, um. When Sidorovich sends you to kill the bandit known as Goblin, I think. Goblin got his hands on, I think Goblin got his hands on, like, some documents and a generic Gauss pistol. But Gauss pistols themselves are so rare and valuable because they're basically part of the experimentation. The idea is that there is an X Lab, I think, somewhere in Jupiter's at. or just a hidden underground lab area in general that was dealing with experimenting with Gauss weapon and Like, that, you know, there's that, there's, uh... There are other hints that I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, you know, uh, just little little tidbits dropped here and there lore-wise of, like... Uh... Just, just stuff related to the X-Labs. You know, the military in the zone, basically, before the Chernobyl disaster, basically trying all kinds of things. From, uh, Gauss weaponry ex manufacturing to, uh human experimentation and the idea of uncovering a lot of these you know I really loved it and they had more plans for it it looks like but it very clearly looks like it but no the Russian war bullshit the team the, the team is dissolved now it it really sucks because this makes two this makes two things now that have been dissolved that I like uh, that I know of, at least, because of this fucking war bullshit. The other being, uh, RARBG. And RARBG went down, and, and, and in their notice on shutting down, they literally stated that members of their staff were on both sides of the war. And that, because of the tensions caused by this, 
they they literally just can't keep going. They couldn't keep the side up. Like, that's fucked. Alright. Scorpion. I my UZ. 201. Mac 10. E90. Uh, Evo 3, UMP 40, okay, I'm missing one thing, the HK UMP 40. Not really a big deal. And then the PP2000, and then the KCPDW. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Just to get out of the way. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'll figure out the next step. Um, now, I mentioned way back in this, all this ranting, the chess plot. Um, I intend to do 2.1 to its completion. There's just one issue. So, I don't really, I can't really spoil anything on it, because I don't even know much about it. But the idea is, there's a, a there's an absolutely final plot in OP two called the plot of of the chess player, also known just as the chess plot or chess master plot, is the absolute final thing in the game, and it has a bunch of prerequisites. Um, in 2.09, to, to start the chess plot, you had to, uh, wait, why, man, new artifact, oh yeah, there was a blowout just now, so of course more artifacts are going to show up. Um, And 2.09, um, to access the chess plot, for example, you had to complete the sniper plot line, Wave of Monsters, and I think one or two other things. And Wave of Monsters itself, and the sniper plot line is like the biggest plot line in the game. If not one of the biggest. And Wave of Monsters is one of the big is probably the biggest event in the game, especially for how much ammo you spend on it. And that's that's not happening. That's not him. Alright. Uh, anything for me? Czechoslovak submachine gun. For arming tankers, Scorpion VZ-61 is quite a decent machine, though it's old. But this time the task is more difficult for you. Is necessary to find one to the 9x19 Parabellum cartridge? Done. Well. Wait, what the f Is that a mistranslation? Well. What will a decent security office do without masterpiece of the Israeli concern, Israeli military industries? Have you ever heard about the Uzi? Good. Then get me this legend. Oh yeah, now I remember. Um, every chain task has a theme to it, and 2.1 Surly's or whatever, whatever his name's supposed to be, but it's Surly right here. It's different in the document I'm using. That's why I had trouble figuring out who it was. Um, his whole his his chain task is themed around uh, lightweight um, SMG, lightweight uh, 
machine pistols, SMGs, that kind of shit, I guess. But the but there's but every one, every chain task has a backstory to it. And Surly's is that I think a friend of his is opening up a private security firm in in modern in normal civilization outside the zone. So he's trying to get together a bunch of different weapons that would be good for private security for members of this private security firm. Uh-huh. Submachine gun buys him for the 9x19 Parabellum. I think it's also because he's, he's focusing on 9x19 weapons, yeah. It's not exactly what I need in terms of compactness. I can't go to the theater with it, but let it be. Maybe it will be useful. But the Ingram Military Armament Corporation Model 10 is a very compact SMG. Though, you, though until you put a silencer on it, well, let's see later. To which guard I will give it. Bring it. About that task. It's done. I decided to arm a group of enhanced support for VIPs with Belgian FMP90. Yes, I will have I will have such in the office. First, get at least one copy of this miracle. Uh, sure. I will include an elite shooter with the newest Scorpion of 03 in this group. Perhaps I will be the elite shooter. If you did not know, then this is a submachine gun designed in Slovakia under the name of Laugo, which is produced, which is now produced in the Czech Republic by the... Is that a G or a C? The Jeska... I'm not pronouncing this shit. <laughs> no, let's give it a shot. The... The Cheska Zbrojovka Ursky Broad Company. I butchered the shit out of that. It's a very high tech item. They say a monolith scientist have a UK uh, HK UMP 45 in the 40.40 SMW cartridge with a Covenant eliminator. I cannot imagine who provides them such a modern weapon. However, it does not matter. I need it. Yeah, I have no idea if this is a unique gun or not, but I really don't care. I know for sure that the PP-2000 is a Russian 9mm SMG of the Tula Instrument Design Bureau. An excellent weapon with a big magazine. Perhaps I will use it myself. Will you get it? And finally... My last request is a KCPDW, a small-sized assault rifle of the American company Knight's Armament Company. Uh, I'll put I'll put a guy with it at the front door of the agency. Customers will come and see every, everything is serious. They will pay good money for services and tell their VIPs about the company. Yeah, let's give it up. I got an AWP anti-killer, a Cossack saber. And an achievement. I don't mind. Yeah. Um, now let's get to safety first before I look at the achievement. I went over the achievements before in a past session. I uh, So I'm not going to bother too much with it now, but I do want to check that achievement out. Um, so the chess plot, right? Um, now, unfortunately, in 2.09 and... Man, you guys fucking suck at this. Now, unfortunately, in 2.09 2.1, the chess plot is completely... In fact, it's poorly translated. 
Oh, you're firing at that. I thought you were firing at each other. I don't care. Now, unfortunately, the chest plot is, like, is incomplete in 2.09-2.1. The one good thing, like, the last good thing that they left us with, that, that the OP2 team left us with before dissolving, was they properly implemented the chess plot in full. The full version of it, not some watered-down half-baked version of it that we apparently got in 2.09-2.1, they finally gave us the full version 2.2. The caveat being that they didn't have time to translate it before shipping the mod out for download. And now the team is dissolved. So it would literally, you, you have to either play it by ear and not know what's going on. Learn Cyrillic if you want to learn what's going, if you want to play it properly. Or wait for a translation, and I'm already trying to learn. I'm already trying to learn Japanese, and, and a, reading Japanese in a reasonable level. Um, I don't like. I actually think I have an image for this somewhere. There's, I literally have an image that you can re like a small, a small like uh, chart explanation thing that you can read in like five minutes. That gives you a quick and easy explanation on how to learn Cyrillic. Alright, AWP anti kill. Uh, yep. And Cossack Saber. I mean, I don't fucking need it right now. Where have I been putting my melee weapons? Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, the, the the melee overhaul is ridiculous. I love it. Uh, All the compact and the small size models of automatic weapons in the exclusion zone have passed through your hands. Aren't they usually collected for specific purpose? Of course they are, and also by narrow specialists, mostly bodyguards. Didn't have a picture for that one, sadly. Unfortunate. Alright. <sighs> well, I can write that one off. Oh, Surly is referred to in the document as Ray. Okay. Alright. Next up, I think I want to do... Um... Anna's stash? Just cuts. So let's go to X8. Um, anyway. The, yeah, the chess plot. So it's, it didn't get translated, unfortunately. But hopefully it will eventually. And, hell, by the time I'm done with this, 
get around to OG, even if I expedite the process, by the time I'm done with this, do OGS, do OGSC, and then get to 2.2, and then get to the chess plot in 2.2, hopefully it's translated. Um, there is one thing I plan to do, though. Which is, uh... There's one thing I plan to do in this, in this, uh, version of OP2, though. Which is, there is a modification. For... There is a modification um, that where somebody made a better chess plot. I don't know if that's the complete chess plot. Or not. But... Uh, the complete, like, final chess plot or not, but... Somebody made... A modification. Um, that's like a better chess plot, and considering it's probably not translated, I might try it here. It, like the default, the default chess plot might not be translated to point one, and it's apparently not finished in two point one. I might try that modification here. I would have to ask Rage Quit about it, or whoever knows more about it than I do. CZ seven five FA nine by nineteen. Nine millimeter automatic full automatic pistol with a trigger mechanism designed for single and automatic fire. The barrel of this gun is elongated 150 millimeters, protruding 35 millimeters behind the front section of the slide. There is muzzle brake installed, which certainly affects the weapon stability at burst fire. It is in service. With the Special Forces of the Army and the Czech Republic Ministry of Interior. Something unusual happened to me today. I found the entrance to the cave in the Red Forest. I went inside and ran into a controller. While I was running away from it, I fell into a, a hole in the floor, burned myself badly on an anomaly, and got into a teleport. Came to my senses on the roof of, of the house. I looked around and couldn't believe my eyes. I found myself outside the location. While thinking about how to go down, I was jumping from roof to roof and a brilliant idea came to my head. To hide my loot here. Nobody will... Yeah, nobody will ever get here. There is no way outside the location. But I'll try to come here again as I get out of here. I'll make sure to leave... Yeah, I'll make sure to tear this sheet out and burn. Okay. Alright, do I have a teleport to Red Forest? No. Old Village, Lemons Hospital, Generators, Military Lab, Bunker D6. Oh, fuck it. Red Forest. Dumb.
Start line. Construction site. Oh, there, there's one. All right. And since 2.2 might be the last hurrah for OP2, I think when I do my recorded playthrough of that, I'm going to try my damnedest to get certain achievements. I know there's the, there's the Stalker achievement. The Stalker achievement requires you to do... I think you get it if you beat the Sniper plot. I don't know if, it's, if it requires the Chess plot or not. I don't remember. You basically have to do like 99% of the game's bullshit, and who the fuck is that, and why do I have a job for him? Oh, that's the that's the stealth hunting bullshit, never mind. You have to do like 99-95% of the game's content. Um, there are several achievements that you cannot get, or they will lock you out of the stalker achievement. Um, these are basically negative achievements, uh, even though they function like every other achievement, typically. Uh, one example is... Fuck out of here. Um, one example is uh, if you let your fatigue, and I'm not talking about your stamina, if you let your fatigue get too low, uh, like everything has everything has like a level to it, like green, yellow, and red, right? You're bleeding, you're fatigued, etc. If you ever let your fatigue enter the red you will earn an achievement for that, and that's one of the achievements that will lock you out of stock. Uh, that's an example. There's about five others, I think, that can potentially do this. Typically, they involve... Th these failure achievements involve you... Uh, these... Failure achievements, they just typically involve, you know, oh, you fucked up really badly and didn't do this right. There's a couple of achievements you have to also get to get the stalker achievement. And... Uh, to get the stalker achievement, and one of them is really balls fucking hard because it involves keeping some really dumb, Im stupid NPCs alive through uh, through a certain part early in the game. And you know what? Fuck it. I will try that. I will give. I will try my damnedest to make that happen. Um, there is another achievement called Card Player, and what that is, is you, I, I think I've discussed this before, you get a task by Kuznetsu to recover playing cards that are marked with uh, 
they're marked with pieces of like a code leading leading to resulting in coordinates leading to a, a special stash of those this stash contains a few uh, a few goodies including an artifact you need for um including an artifact that you need for dragon of And the schematics for the FN2000 Paratrooper, which is a really good 9x39 weapon, and you need it for a chain. Fuck it. <laughs> Gotta hate that particular fucker. I think I have a chance of dropping the, uh, an enhanced chance of dropping the bloodsucker ten- the red tentacles, but... Fuck me, I hate that shit. Alright, I'm looking for... Here. Um... And I don't know how I forget how it was in in two point oh nine and here in two point one because I've done it I've had it done for a while but in two point two there are thirty seven playing cards total and you only need to get thirty of them so it's easy to miss some but if you get all thirty seven you get an achievement for that and that seems like uh, one of the completionist types of achievements I want to get. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Um, then, of course, there is an achievement I only recently learned about called New Game. He's called again Swamp Blood Suckers? Fuck off. I forgot how good the fight gloves are for that shit. Oh. 
Um, I might try some other stuff. The thing is, there's so many achievements in the game for various things. I think there's like an instant kill zone in the water at some point in this map. I, it, it, it's weird. I've, I've fallen victim to it before. Oh yeah, I gotta reload. I was wondering why the video guy was showing me that very specific path. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's my plan, and hopefully the chest plot is translated, and I can properly enjoy that too. Because I really want to give this mod its I really want to give this mod what it deserves. I want to give it the the love that the devs put the time into making this and yes it's masochistic yes it's fucking insane i don't care i have loved this mod for many years for multiple years now and we'll continue to love it, even if it is... <sighs> and we'll continue to love it, even if it is no longer going to be developed.
Bioradars and descriptions. Oh, that's the bioradar shit. I almost forgot about that. And 10 electric. <laughs> I still need the second, third, fourth scheme, the bioradar blueprint, the assembly instructions. And that was finding the device description. I think the first scheme was when I found the Groza Sniper, but I don't, I don't know. Alright. Well, I think that was Anna's stack. Yeah. Oh. So, I guess let's go to the bar. Yeah, sure. <sighs> yeah, it's 8.30 a.m. now. I've been going at this for a bit. And all I did was complete one chain task and do a stash thing. And a little bit of exploring. Protect the world from the zone. Join duty. I think, De I forget, but I think Demok sells repair kits outright. Wait, who the hell are you? He's a hunter. Damn. Okay. It's kind of like, yeah, it looks like my black doctor. So usually, I didn't know hunters wore those. Yeah, fuck it. Let's try to go to East Pripyat. I mean, it'll take me right to the mock, so... Mm. 
Yeah, I might be needing that monster soon. I I hate that I know one thing in OP two that's gonna piss in two point two that's gonna piss me off. Instead of the teleport costing money, it requires an artifact that's called the teleport artifact, and you buy and they cost out the ass. And even and I'm gonna be making an add-on. I'm sorry, not making. I'm sorry. I don't make shit. <laughs> I'm gonna be uh, using an add-on I know of for 2.2. I already collected a bunch of add-ons for 2.2. And one of these was, uh... It, it lessens the cost of the teleport artifacts. It still makes them 5,000 rubles per teleport. As opposed to the 1,000. So I'm gonna be... I can tell in 2.2, I'm gonna be using a lot less teleports. Even in the end game. Uh, is there a job? Okay, he wants a cord machine gun. That's not gonna be for a bit. Uh, don't see it. Well, that sucks. I think Oz had something for me, but I don't remember. I just remember it being related to, like, Sir Barmalee's thing. Which, I hate that he's called- that the document calls him Sir Barmalee. I forget what his name actually is in this game. Alright, let's see what I can do here. Um, I'm gonna keep that. Uh, veteran to stalker suit, definitely. Uh, uh, Ingram Mac 10. Like, I'm probably going to be using a couple of modifications in 2.2. Chiefly, uh... Chiefly, I'm going to, um... Alright, now hold on, I gotta check. Do I have Jupiter or do I have Zat? I don't have Jupiter. I have Zat. And Zat will take me to the boat. Is there a way... I mean, yeah, yeah, but I'd have to go pretty far. It, it, it all boils down to how badly do I want to avoid dealing going back through Eastern Pripyat. Um, there was one thing. How far have I ever gone with you? Alright, hold on a sec.
А когда я рождался, как мама рассказывала, сначала показалась рука с дозиметром, потом голова в противогазе. И только потом я уже весь вылез. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Как ты считаешь, будет конец света или нет? Vepper, right? Oh, that's some... Um, I, I never started. I never did the very first one. This is the very first step. Yeah, he wants a bunch of sniper rifles. А то, что сейчас происходит на большой земле, по-твоему, не конец света. Только самое его начало. Some of which I really don't want to give I really would not want to give up, but it's fine, I guess. I don't know, I guess. Anyway, we'll worry about that later. Uh there's something I want to do for Ox. That I think I have to do for Ox. Um, oh yeah, I mentioned this before. Um, there, one of the completionist achievements I want to get, I don't know if it's in 2.1, but it's in 2.2. I found this out recently. And it's literally an achievement just for doing every chain task in the game. You get an achievement already for every chain task you do. Each chain task has its own unique achievement for completing it, I think. Save for a couple of the one-offs in 2.2 that I noticed. But... Please go away. But in... Um, two, but in two... Uh, but completing all of them... Will net you... The new game achievement which i don't know what the description for that is i'm sure it's interesting enough but <laughs> whoops meant to hit the map button Okay, that goes to Zap, right? That goes to Jupiter. Okay, hold on a sec. I gotta swap battery. Now, Oz, I believe, is... over here.
Oh, yeah, I'm going to be using a couple of modifications in 2.2, though. They're mainly essential. So I might try. I might. I might use cheaper teleports. I, I probably will. But even then, I probably will abstain from using them as much as possible. Because now it's not just money, but I but consumable items. And um, I'm the kind of person that I, I'm the kind of person I'll play a JRPG and I'll be I'll be at the final boss or the bonus boss and be like, yeah, but I might need this consumable later. So I'm. I'm a huge fucking just miser about it. Um Holy shit. Loading and frame rate is hard. Up oh, there he is. There there's his uh, there's his perch. His little uh fire wash right there. Didn't I have the schematics for the Mossberg hook? Ah, uh, that's Stare Og. I did his request. I did that one guy's request, right? I got the schematics for the Mossberg hook. I don't know. Or I should say, Hook's Mossberg shotgun. Now, I'm pretty sure you had a thing for me, right? Because if not, I can just fuck off somewhere else, but... Oh, wait, here he is. It is very good you can me. Surely you won't say no to some job. I have a very important assignment. I was just thinking. Whom I could ask for help, and here you are, and right on time, too. You ready to listen to me? What you got? Holy fucking shit, okay. The military found a fuel depot at the Jupiter plant. The depot was abandoned after the Chernobyl accident cleanup. More precisely, it wasn't there at all. The fuel was being transported from the nearest truck stations closer to the plant, so that helicopters could refuel near the accident site. In the depot, there, there have been left a huge number of barrels of gasoline and kerosene. The military command sent here a small convoy of APCs and soldiers to protect the fuel depot and clean up the surrounding area immune and stalkers. They already arrived. If the military make a temporary base in the area, they'll take hold firmly there, and the whole area will be off limits to all stalkers. Helicopter raids will be on a daily basis, not like now, and once every six months for reporting. This means no loot, which will ultimately affect my trade. Anyway, you need to destroy the convoy and blow up the entire fuel depot to hell. Now, the convoy is split into two groups, the soldiers coming, combing abandoned objects and buildings. The first group is located at the checkpoint, the second at the container yard. A platoon and a couple APCs got stuck on the bridge not far from the parking lot. One of the APCs drove over a fruit punch nolly, which caused the wheels of the vehicle to corrode. Also, a recon group was sent to the fuel depot. This is the right moment to attack. The military is scattered over a large area. I know it's a risky business. But it needs to be sorted out. Don't worry about the reward. I do have anomaly grenades. I don't know how well they'll work against APCs. I have 18 double F1s on me. I think I'm good. Alright. Иди лучше монстров стрелять. А то людей от работы отвлекаешь. Destroy the convoy. Oh, there's actually a, pi a, a picture for this? Oz threw me another job. Recently arrived military... Transport... Doesn't really say. Alright.
как он все это перетаскивал, прятал и продавал, я рассказывать не буду. Но только он на этом столько бабла срубил, что нам не снилось. За пять жизней не заработать. Again, fortunately, there's the way. Радостная новость для всех... That is a lot of motherfuckers. ...а вместе первой ядерной аварии начинает формироваться своя новая зона. This is another huge military incursion in the southern Jupiter. Unlike the medication for Kuzka's mother, the military will already be set up and entrenched in their positions. Much like that quest, the military will fight with local NPC spawns. Better to start the quest on a fully populated map. Five APCs total. The, the quest will... Uh, 17 of the soldiers are marked as specific targets on the map. They aren't visually different, but the quest will only advance if you kill all 17 of them, as well as the 5 APCs. Fuck, okay. So there's a, there's just a straight fucking map here. I'm glad that there's a map here, because holy shit, that's a wide area. Alright, I am currently here. All of the military are concentrated around here. So. Oh, yeah, Oz is another traitor, I think, right? So, what do you have? I could really. Oh, come on, I'll, I'll buy the fucking. Kit, repair kits out, right? Why don't you sell them? Ugh. This is gonna be fun. Okay, I'm strictly going by the guy. Um, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go directly south to that intersection area. One of the APCs is there. This is probably a terrible idea doing this at night, but. Okay, I should not do the Field Depot quest until I have good... I didn't think the APC would move off of my grenade. <laughs> They've never done that in the game. What? Okay. PTRD. Lightweight PTRD. And I should come back... I should do this during the fucking daytime. So, uh, I'm going to figure out what I want to do next. Not Huckster's Loot. I'm going to try to do something else. Um, <laughs> uh, holy shit. But that's the next big target right there is to do that. Is to do the field, the field depot, I guess. Alright, that's that that's it. Stay cheeky breaking my friends.